Geneva the Tree by Tiara Kylie Estonakdok. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Ava. Ava was eight years old with long blonde hair and gray eyes. She lived in South Korea near a big forest. Ava loves everything except trees. Her friends know how to climb trees other than Ava. She is always left behind whenever her friends climb trees. One day, when Ava was in a forest picking flowers, she saw a small tree hiding in the grass. I hate trees, she whispered to herself. She remembered how she was left alone by her friends every time they climbed trees. She decided to pull the small tree. When she pulled it, a witch appeared. The witch had long claws, and her teeth is as black as night, and her eyes are red. The witch said. You pulled one of the precious tree, so I'll turn you into a tree. You have three days to realize how important trees are. At the first day, there was a big flood. A bird was looking for shelter. She asked all of the big trees if it's. Possible to put her nest in their branches, but they all disagree. When the bird came past Ava, she said, "Can I stay in your branches? I have nowhere to go, and nowhere to give birth to my babies." Yes, you can stay in my branches," said Ava. "Thank you. You are so kind." Said the bird. After the big storm, there was a few water left in the ground. Can you please help me? Said a small voice. Ava looked down. Who's that? Said Ava. I'm here in the ground. Said the worm. Oh, you poor worm! I will suck the water for you. And all the water goes down and down, until there's no more water. Oh, thank you," said the worm. At the second day, Ava saw a man that is tired. The man saw Ava and the delicious fruit hanging on her branch. He picked one and ate it. It tastes like heaven. He said, "He drank the dew. It was the sweetest dew he ever tasted." At the third day, Ava was turned back to human. The witch appeared to her and said, "Now you see how important trees are." Yes. And for now on, I will plant trees," said Ava. The witch shows her real form. She was a beautiful fairy. The fairy's hair was green, and her skin was glowing like a sun. Now go back to your home. Your mother is making your favorite pudding. Ava ran back home. The end. Bye. Hope you liked the story.